<laughs> Rob Ben. Oh, I like still... Ben's shirt. Do you? Yeah, what's the matter with it, Jimmy? Yeah, what's the matter with it, Jim? Nothing at all. It's that shirt you have stinks. I know it does. Don't try to jump the gun and Sabbath. cut me off. <laughs> it's all of a... Can you go one week without an Aussie or Black Sabbath t-shirt? Nope. Ooh, how many do you have? Yeah, how many you do you have? You must have a lot. I have a good amount. Not as many as you think. He's no. got uh, three. Maybe four. Really? Always, That's it? <laughs> you always sleep in that long one when we're on the road. Which one? Ooh. There's one long one. Sexy. Ooh, how do you know, Ben? Because yeah. I used to have to wake Jim up in <laughs> Philly. Night shirt like our gang. Yeah. yeah. Wear a long night shirt. That's Jim right. comes out with his little mask on his head. And the room's all black. I'm like Scrooge. I have my night shirt and my night cap. And your little uh, goggles. <laughs> what do you put those little padded eye things? Things all over your face? Well, I have to now because I don't have like a... Mrs. Kravitz or something? What, no, like like Michelle Pfeiffer? Yeah. In, in Scarface. Right. I sleep with the, them black jades. I got to <laughs> sleep with them because I don't have a curtain in my uh, my room yet. I have when are you my... getting one? Very soon. Um... Are you, is it going to be motorized? No. Nah, you should my... get one of those, dude. Totally blacks out the thing and you could lay there in bed and just <laughs> hit it. That's my goal, by the way. Not just to remain home, remain in bed. 24 <laughs> hours a day <laughs> where I could control everything with the remote control and people just bring me That's stuff. That's not even joking. You already have what? You were saying the laptops near the bed. You have the oh, yeah. really nice TV, I'm sure. Yep, have the TV. Uh, we, we discovered uh, Peapod. Peapod.com. They deliver the food to your house. Jesus. You don't have to go shopping. It's like Fresh Direct, go... right? Yeah. They go to uh, Waldbaum's. And uh, they get everything you need and deliver it. How great is that? Drugstore.com for everything else. Go there. You get your little wipes and your toity paper and all of your your aspirin and anything else you need. Then uh, everything else I buy, like uh, I'll go to, to Circuit City or, or uh, BestBuy.com if I need electronics. I used to go to Dell for computer equipment. I'll talk about that later customer service dell go fuck yourself it's awful i used to i used to crow anyone in here can tell you, you how i used to crow about dell i would i push dell to everybody the opie needed a computer he was like aunt what should i get i'm like dell 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 best computer uh you, you're gonna get exactly what you want and their customer service is great well not anymore people and not just because of one little incident. Dell's customer service now is the worst customer service I have ever dealt with with any product I've ever had. Yep. And this went from the best customer service I ever had uh, probably a couple of years ago to the absolute worst, cannot get anything accomplished, trying to order two fans. I need two case ventilation fans for my Dell. So we're talking about this now? Yeah. Yeah, because oh, now okay. I'm wound up. Now I'm wound up. Get me on the phone because I gotta take a leak. I, I'm not even kidding. And can continue. I just. All right, you want you, you you want to take a break? Well, let's my, just let's just get right on this though when we get back. All right. No, I'm not even kidding. My bladder's exploding. All right. And I, I had, had the same problem, but there was a oh farmer in line. He stepped on your line. No, oh, he was going to the bathroom. Hope he wasn't listening to you, Jimmy. All right. What happened? I gotta take a leak. Ooh. So would you have to call the bathroom? No, I was gonna call it so we can continue doing the oh, show. Oh, <laughs> I didn't know what you would do. And I'd walk down the hall, listen to your babbling customer service <laughs> crap. <laughs> right. You'd hear me leaking in the background, and then I'd walk back into the bath uh, oh. into the studio and continue. No, you know we gotta we gotta help out the MiFi uh, users by oh, yeah. taking breaks. Yeah, we really helped them out. <laughs> you know they only gotta rewind what an hour and fifteen minutes. Yeah. And remind me to agree when you talk about Dell. Right, please. Remi <laughs> I'm reminding Ben. Remind him to remind me to tell him oh, that he agrees. Oh, a little message. By, Ooh, from? Message. from Who's that, Opie? Elo? I don't know. Probably. Remind people that XM customer service is great. <laughs> Shut up, Elo. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Once yeah. remind us that Deep Tracks is doing around-the-clock coverage on the subway bombings in London. They're going to go deep into the story. Yeah. <laughs> deep into the Jethro Tull... Uh, Catalog. Uh, <laughs> catalog. Deep All right, news. we'll talk about that when we yeah, get back. Yeah, but you threw me off, though, really fast. Uh, yeah. You were talking about how your goal is to just live in bed and yeah, stuff. Yeah, sure. And I had audio, actually, from your bathroom. Oh, really? 
uh, from your bedroom? Uh, a bedroom, bathroom, if I can make that the same room. <laughs> Some room with a B. <laughs> right, better. The bitchin'. <laughs> See? Bitch, bitchin'. Oh, you. Uh, my body comes in. I have so much urine in me right now. Does this ever happen to you? You could feel your body temperature dropping? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Your water cooled. <laughs> oh, my God. I feel my whole body temperature dropping. That I, I'm going to pee for three straight minutes. I want to massage you and just push down on your tummy. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Here's uh, audio of uh, Anthony in his uh, in his bedroom as he lives his life <laughs> exclusively in his bedroom. Come in with the milk. 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 He used to open the bag with his right hand, his right hand, and hold the bag out to me at a 45 degree angle so I may reach into the bag without touching the paper. <laughs> and? Well, it continues. What's so odd about any of this? It's funny you say and. If there is any variation of these instructions, even to the smallest degree, the entire process must be repeated from the beginning. Exactly. Come in with the milk. Repeated. Come in with the milk. From the beginning. Come in with the milk. Repeated. Come in with the milk. 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 Hello, exactly! Yeah, Anthony can totally relate. That's the scary part. What's wrong with that? This was supposed to be a little cute gag. I like that. Got one more clip of Anthony in his uh, bedroom living Ooh. his life. Yeah. Let's get a drink. Wait, 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 honey. You can't move. You can't move. You're, you're safe here. You're in the germ-free zone now. You, know, you understand? <laughs> I have a germ-free zone in the house. Everything else is taped off with, like, police tape. <laughs> yeah. Oh, very good. And uh, you should just see. you got to come over one day, though, and look how neatly I have stacked my jars of urine. <laughs> I've lined them against the walls, just golden jars of liquid all along the wall. What was his reasoning for that? There has to be a reason he had. To he... save your urine? Well, yeah. can we think about it as we take this leak yeah, but I that's call long overdue? Howard Hughes. Mm. All right, then just get me on the phone. But I'll Dell, go. Dell's customer service. That's right. Dell's. Okay. Awful. What's wrong, Anthony? Uh, Hump X from Rhode Island. Ant, you're a fucking tool. You call yourself a hardcore gamer, and you're recommending Dell. If you have to recommend off-the-shelf st systems, at least go with Falcon NW or Alienware, for fuck's sake. Uh, dude, a lot of people don't have uh, 13 Gs to spend on a computer, first of all. I could if I wanted to. I go through computers a lot. So uh, I, I get Dell, and, and they work fine for gaming. What do you think? I'm getting the off-the-shelf fucking $600 model of Dell? I build it. I put in huge, uh, uh, great video cards, a shitload of RAM. Don't worry about it. My computer's fine. I have a problem with Dell's customer service. Not their computers. At least not yet. Who knows what the hell's going on over there now. Maybe their computers blow ass too. Because their customer service stinks. They're doing what everybody is doing now. Outsourcing. Uh, this is a huge problem in uh, this country. I, quickly, I was just going to say, does anyone's customer service work? Is it? And it, it, no. It's every customer no. service. Customer service sucks now. Uh, you 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 end up on hold for hours on end when you try to make a phone call to any of these people. The menus take you uh, on this, uh, if I could say, wild goose chase. <laughs> it's like a wild goose chase. And it used to be, but the, I guess they caught on to this. It used to be at any time during the menu you could hit that zero and wait for the live person and get a real human being on the phone and say, "Here's my problem. Here's the help I need." Maybe uh, your menu didn't give the option that I needed, but not anymore. That's not even an option anymore. If the mechanical person online can't help you, you are fucked. And Dell is now the worst. They sent uh, all their customer service over to India, just like everyone else. Microsoft, uh, a lot of the airlines customer service is based over there. Uh, a lot of tech stuff, all based over in India. They train these people. I saw a whole show on it, how they train these Indians to try to sound uh, American. They try to give them this generic American accent uh, so so as to fool the people that are trying to call them. They, I'm sorry, they're not up on what's going on. Maybe they're good at uh, hiding their Indian accent, but uh, they're not learning the product. These people have scripts they work from. They have these, these things that if... You have problem A. It's like a flow chart. Uh, if you are uh, confronted with a caller that has problem A, go C, B, or C. If it's B, now C, D, E. 
it, it just goes down the line. The best is uh, throwing throwing them off their script. Yeah. Like I was on customer service for my uh, my banking. Mm-hmm. Well, I'll get into my problem after yours because you started this. But uh, it starts with a guy. I finally got a guy after being stuck in the menu system for a long yep. time. And like you said, uh, so many people caught on that you could just push zero to get a live voice that they basically have taken that option out of the game. But eventually I did get a live voice. I don't even know how. I mm-hmm. couldn't even tell you. And the guy's like, Hi, um, what is your social security number? And I'm like, no, 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 no. I need to talk to, you know, hi, what is your... Like, they yeah. didn't know what to do because I didn't start with step one on their little script. Right. You went out of step. And I'm like, no, I'm not giving your social security... But, be, but, but, before... What is your social security? They couldn't even improvise or anything. No. They, they didn't know what to do. You're not getting a real person. You're getting a computer because it's it's some guy with a script right. that he can't deviate from. Mm-hmm. You're getting a a meat machine. Oh, who's calling? Call. Somebody calling? Who would call Opie during the show? Wouldn't they know you do a show? Hello. Hey. Oh, hi, Carmen. How are you? Oh, it's Carmen? Are you calling me too early? No, I'm usually up this early. Who is that? Hey, bank. It's Citibank. It's Citibank. This is just what you were talking about. At least you get a call back. Okay. <clears throat> uh-huh. Hmm? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Count number what? Okay. How many millions? What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, just send my checks. Oh, I need my. Uh, make sure they send my checks. You oh, ordered I ordered, checks? I ordered checks uh, two months ago. What address are they going to? Uh oh. <laughs> uh, first time. That's What's your right. routing number? Little Pan Am stickers on them. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Thank you. Uh, Anything, just uh, call her. I'm right, sure she'd be easy you. to get in touch with too. Right, after fifty thousand menu. Do they prompts. just hear my address over uh, no, the I didn't radio too? I didn't hear. Jesus, it. It was um. That's exactly. Yeah, I, I heard that's it. exactly. There's Pat Battle. That's exactly what we were talking about. That took three days to close uh, an old account. Three and days. it's finally done. Ah, cool. you'll supposedly. see. Supposedly. Supposedly. Okay, ahead. Yeah. Sorry, Anthony. So, uh, yeah, Dell, I used to just say it was the best thing ever, and customer service was great. I, if I ever had a problem, I would call them, get a live person, and they would deal with it uh, immediately. Now, uh, the beginning of June, um, uh, one of the fans in my computer started making a noise. I opened it up. I was getting this fan warning thing, saying that uh, there was a defective fan. So I opened it up, and uh, one of the blades broke off of the fan. So I figure I'd get two new fans, and replace both the fans that are in there. Call up Dell, uh, and through, like, all kinds of prompts. There's no way. I, I There's no numbers on there. I tried it through the website. You cannot find this fan on their website because, God forbid, they backlog any uh, equipment that you right. might need, like, three months ago. It's all about their new computer, their new stuff, and anything old, go fuck yourself. You're not getting a part for this thing. So I, I, I did get somebody live on the phone. It was an Indian guy, uh, and I don't even remember how I did it. I've tried to do it again to get a live person on the phone. I can't do it. So I had this live guy on the phone, and I, I told him my model number of the computer and everything and ordered these fans. He had such a problem understanding what I needed and how to go about ordering it. Uh, and I knew there was going to be a problem right then and there because this had never happened with Dell before. So I had to be satisfied. All right, he took the order. Also, they had my old Brooklyn address. He goes, we're sending it to blah, blah, blah. I said, my old Brooklyn. I said, no, I have a new address. Take this down. And I said, please, I, I want an email confirmation of this entire transaction. No problem, Mr. Kumia. That will be sent out to you. Everything will be fine. I never got an email verification. Uh, so I figured, what the hell? I just waited, waited. I, I finally checked my order status. You get your little order number, and you can check your order status. I check it. It says... Orders canceled. <laughs> I go, what? I didn't can What? So now I try to get the live guy on the phone again. You're playing. To with no me. avail. God, you're. Go ahead, sorry. To no avail. Could not get the live person. So they have this feature called live chat. 
We were able to chat with a customer service uh, guy. On a computer, right? Yeah. Uh, so I get on there and... and I me bet you're using the C key a lot. Oh, boy. <laughs> you, you, and the F key, the M or F or key. <laughs> the M, F key should be right next to each other. <laughs> is it? Oh, oh, I should have checked before I did my little Yes. Job. Okay, they're not next to each get, other. It is stupid. <laughs> right. Fuckers. <laughs> So uh, I, I'm chatting with this guy and, and saying, look, I never got the confirmation. Now they're telling me the order's canceled. And, of course, the first thing they do is apologize profusely for this problem that you're having, and we will take care of it. Uh, and he said, we have made a new order. It should ship. You should receive this on June 28th. I'm like, okay, I could take it. Meanwhile, my, my computer sounds like a 767 warming up to take off because it's on one fan. And I'm playing pretty graphic-intensive games, so the thing is really heating up. I know I'm just going to blow the thing up. So uh, I wait and wait. I get no email confirmation again. I go to check my order status. Uh, it says um, it's in the assembly phase of uh, the whole thing. Assembly phase. When you order a computer, you go to Dell to check the status. They have pre-order, order, assembly, uh, inspection, boxing. Like You could check the whole every step of the way. If you're ordering a part, there is no assembly part. There is no assembly. It's done. Put the fucking fan in the box and send it to me. Well, this went on and on and on and on. Past June 28th. So then I, I, I try again to call. No avail. I get on the chat again. And each time you're starting brand new. No one knows what the hell you're talking about. There's no history there. Uh, I, I try to convey to the guy what's been happening. Uh, well, um, okay, I'll check with shipping... And I will email you. I go, don't, and now I'm cursing. I'm like, don't bullshit me. You guys are liars. I go, I've been lied to by your customer service uh, department. I will email you when I speak to shipping. Never got an email. Again, nothing. And this went on now yesterday. I completely fed up. Check the uh, status again. It's still in assembly. Yeah. And this is, I've been on the chat and emails. So I took the original email I got and replied to that. I hit reply and just said, you guys, I am livid. I cannot deal with it. You're the worst customer service ever. Uh, please, I need these parts. You think saying that you're livid is going to matter? No, it doesn't though? do anything. Okay, good. So I get the email last night. It says, uh, Mr. Kumia, we are very sorry that uh, you have had a problem with this. Um, we will ship your camera as quickly as possible. Yes, I just said camera. And now I'm reading this. I start laughing my ass off. I'm ordering a fucking ventilation fans. Two fans. A camera and some mysterious bracket item that they're sending me. That they're going to give me free of charge, they said. The bracket, not the camera. And uh, they said, uh, here is uh, where we're shipping it. And what do you think the address was? Brooklyn? My old Brooklyn address. I, I, you just want to throw the computer out the window. At, at this point, I'm scared to open up my own mail because the simplest tasks it, cause you the biggest headaches now. This should be easy. This is a part that obviously it's right. in their computers. They know what the part is. Right. Send it out to me. As soon as you see that there's a little problem, they give you a number to call, you know you're in hopefully, screwed. Hopefully just a day of hell, but usually no. It's days or in Ant's case uh, over a month. Over a month, and now I just got this one. Here it is. Mr. Kumia, thank you for contacting Dell Online Customer Care. Oh! And now the first thing is exactly what I've gotten. I swear to you, this is probably my eighth email I've gotten from them that says, I sincerely apologize for any miscommunication on our part and for the inconvenience this matter has caused. I truly regret that we are not able to provide you with an experience that was completely satisfactory to oh, you. Just garbage. This is the yeah the standard pat bullshit. friggin' bullshit uh, response that they give you. Now this is obviously somebody who isn't uh, English or doesn't speak English. They put down, please be advised that your order number for Dell Assembly bracket, what, is being delayed for a long time. This order is delayed as our revenue department did not process it due to some technical reasons. What? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> so I have canceled this order. They canceled it again. Wait, this is just a brand new email yeah, right here? Yeah, brand new right here. Oh, my God. So we have canceled as our revenue department did not process it. 
I have also placed a new order for assembly bracket, absolutely free of cost to you. Your order number is, there's a new one, it will be shipped to you within three days, uh, within the next three to five business days, to the following address. Shore Road, Brooklyn, New York. <laughs> they are, I got to jump in because they are fucking, I went through this about uh, three months ago where I didn't have my desktop for a month and a half. Yeah. Because I had a problem with the electrical thing. They sent me a new, th the same thing, fucking Indians who, not people in this country, they don't speak English. You, what you got to do is take, can I have your name, please? I take down I got all their every names. name, and I, I reference it to the next person. Dude, I spoke to I Dorothy. It. It's Representative uh, 77888 Satyendra. It's one name. There isn't even a last name here. It's Satyendra. <laughs> Del, if there's anybody that, that subscribes to XM, that listens, that has anything to do with Dell, you're killing your business. The business is dying. Your computer business is dying. I went to the Dell forums last night on, on their website. They have the forums. Nothing but complaint after complaint, the same things that are happening to me. You're saving money by outsourcing to India, and you're losing customers in droves. You are losing so much more then you are saving by outsourcing. You're destroying your reputation and destroying your company. When that commercial for Dell comes on where the guy is in bed and he's paranoid over customer service and when it's going to be available, and he goes, what about Christmas Day? And the guy is sitting there with the headphone on in the Dell office is going, we'll be here. He goes, what about uh, Easter? We'll be here, sir. And it's some American kid sitting yeah. there in a, an American office building. Bullshit. You're full of shit, Dell. And I, you know, and everybody says, I will not buy another Dell product. But there, th this is one of the instances where it's not a personal thing where I'm saying, oh, I'm not going to buy a Dell. They're forcing me not to. If I'm having this problem for a fan, why am I going to buy a new computer and, God forbid, have a problem with that and be stuck without a computer? Dude, I had the woman telling me to take my computer apart. Yeah. This Indian woman is telling me, you have to unscrew the back, sir. I'm like, I am not gonna fucking start removing the back from my computer. It's opening not happening. It up. It's not happening. They are ruining it, and and this is just uh, it's part of a, a bigger story with customer, customer service. service. They are well, destroying garbage. their reputations by outsourcing to oh. India. It's a great idea. Who had this idea? Who was the first motherfucking corporate ass dick that came up with this idea? Guys, I got a proposition. We put all of our customer service people in India. Why am I talking like a 1930s movie? We'll put it all in India. Wonderful. Motherfuckers, and you cannot get anything done anymore. Nothing. They are absolutely. I had to go through XM because XM has some kind of a deal with Dell or whatever. Oh, really? Do. There's something going on with XM and Dell. You only something to... going on. It's a huge deal. Actually. Okay, whatever. It is. They do know. Elo's haircuts. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> is that it? They send Indian people with Down syndrome. Well, you know models. something. We know something. It would be nice then if I had a nice Dell experience that I could then get on XM and tell people Basically, that it's a wonderful thing. But I'm not going to lie no. just because there's a relationship there. These people have fucked me. Basically, Dell has this uh, thing with XM where every uh, computer is uh, set for XM radio and the icons right on the screen. Kevin Great. fairly got me a name of a guy I went through. American guy, a corporate guy who works in the Dell offices who actually helped me out. I think his name was Chad. Helped me out a lot. Uh, and then he actually called back to follow up. But the customer service is despicable. Great. And that works for you or me when I get a hold of that guy because <laughs> give me his number. <laughs> He's going to hear something from me. But what about the average Joe out there? Exactly. Jimmy, that doesn't have uh, access to... Uh, one right. of the real American executives. Despicable. Proof of poor customer service from Sarah Ross, Anthony. Oh. Uh, Dell complaints. I guess she read an article on how bad customer service is. Yeah. And she writes, I would have to say that article is correct. I'm a new Dell owner of probably uh, four months and have already had to deal with Dell's supposedly superior customer service. Let's just say the experience I had, I was less than impressed with. I called Dell concerning a problem I was and still am having with my computer. At this time, my computer was only three months old. I had heard before about how bad Dell's customer service was, but I thought, how bad can it really be? Right. So I called, and I don't remember having to too long a wait. When the lady came on the line, though, I would say that she definitely was just learning English. Yep. I could barely understand a word she was saying. It was the most frustrating conversation I had ever had in my life. She was unable to fix my problem and actually ended up getting me to take something of my... Wait, and she... Uh, wait a minute. She was unable to fix my problem and actually ended up getting me to take something of my computer, my antivirus system. There's a typo somewhere there. <laughs> 
I guess what? <laughs> what? what? Huh? She for had what, a problem? For what reason? I don't know. By the end of the conversation, I was nearly in tears because I was so frustrated at the fact that I couldn't understand her. So that is my experience with Dell. Blah blah blah. It is such a frustrating thing because ah. you're stuck. First, you're stuck in in that uh, automated loop that you get in, where you're trying to hit the buttons and oh. get get somebody. Or the worst, when you get disconnected when you've gone through it for eight minutes, oh and then all God. of a sudden a fucking dial tone comes up, or you hear nothing. You hear just... click click, and then and then you hear nothing, and you're still holding. And you're like, did I hear a hang-up click? You wait and wait, and then all of a sudden, yeah, bam. Do, 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 that, like, recording. Oh. People don't know about this yet because we recorded for that 6 a.m. hour, but I was opening my mail on the air live yesterday. Yes, you while, were. Well, while, while we were taping, I should say. And I got uh, I got a bill from Easy Pass. I don't have Easy Pass because I don't drive. I, I got to get it, obviously. No, you don't have Easy Pass because you're, you're lazy, and you should get Easy Pass. Probably. There's no reason you shouldn't probably, have Probably, you're right. Probably, you live right. in New York. So uh, I went through an Easy Pass uh, toll. It was the George Washington Bridge. This was a very interesting thing. They have an upper level and a lower level. Mm -hmm. And at the last minute, I saw a sign. This is It's the truth. It happened to a ton of people that day where it said, uh, I think it was upper level, upper level uh, closed for cash customers. So basically, uh, if you have easy pass, you could go that way. Right. I should have realized there was a problem because there was a probably a 10-mile backup <laughs> on the lower level. But I'm I'm looking at upper level, going wow, why? What's what? Wow, this is great. Mm -hmm. And at the last second, when it was too late, I saw they probably warned me before, but I wasn't paying attention. It said we're only accepting easy pass on the upper level or whatever. Yeah. So now it's too late. So now I I actually go through the where the where you do pay for cash, but there's no one no one at the booth. So I sit oh, there for boy. a second and I Ugh. and I go through. Okay, and a ton of people did the exact same thing. I wasn't the only yeah. dummy. And then finally, a cop, because everyone is kind of waiting at the cash lanes. It's like, why isn't anyone taking our cash? A cop on the loudspeaker. You should have read the signs. You should have read the signs. I basically, want to say tough shit. Yeah. Go through Easy Pass and get fined. Yep. So I I went on my merry way there, and uh, I finally opened the mail yesterday, as you you heard. Yes, I, I saw. And, uh, well, they they got me for not paying the toll, obviously. And okay. what's the toll for the GWB these days? Six dollars, Six bucks? So, so you had to send in six dollars, well, I would assume. I wish it was that easy. Oh, really? It's not that easy? So it, Six dollar toll? You didn't do anything extra? Why? Well, six dollar toll plus twenty five dollar ah, administrative fee. Twenty five dollar administrative fee. So now it's up to thirty one dollars. Thirty one bucks to go across well, the GWB. But then you gotta times that by two because I violated this situation twice. How, you did you went around again <laughs> and you drove through again? So now there's another problem. So then they show another <laughs> violation that happens six seconds later. Wait, because they, they are timed. Yes. So it showed one violation. Yeah. And then another one six seconds after that. Six seconds right there. You can see it for yourself. Same toll and everything. <gasps> oh, that's wonderful. I apologize to the Easy Pass people that I took my Learjet through the toll. Wow. That's uh, something. So now two violations. Initial toll, $6. Yep. $25 administrative fee, so that's 31 And then again, $6, and plus $25 administrative fee. 62 for bucks. $62. That's a, an expensive little bridge crossing. And then it says make uh, checks or money orders payable to blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And then, of course, customer service, 1-800-GO-FUCK-YOURSELF. So now so you I called call 1 it up. go fuck yourself and spent the next hour... Off and on trying to solve this problem, waiting on hold, finally going into the menu, the menu didn't help me, then being hung up on, just like everything we were just talking about. Finally get this lady on the phone, I'm like, I, I was charged twice. I was, I, I, In six seconds. I was charged twice, and they're like, oh, that happens. That ah. happens, there's a glitch in the system. I'm like, all right, uh, here's my, my account number, whatever, you know, mm -hmm. can you just take off one of the charges, so let's just get that out of the way. Nah, can't do that. Why? It was your error. It's right. It's it's got to be on the screen in front of you. If yeah, if you have the sheet in front of you and you're looking at it, right. She's got it in front of her on a computer. She goes, can't yeah. do that. You're gonna have to write in. You're gonna have to write a letter. No, I'm talking to you though. Right. I'm like, what do you mean write a letter? I'm actually talking to you. Just you, hit some keys. You could solve this. You could see for yourself it was your error and and solve the fucking error. Yeah. No, you have to write a letter. And circle where they charge you twice with the time and everything and blah, blah, blah. Oh, my God. This like, is why right. our taxes are so high. I'm like, right, 
Right. Yeah, you're looking at the same screen I am. Well, you know, I got the paper form of this thing. Oh, man. So, dude, I was, as we like to say in the show, stupefied. Yep. And I wasn't getting anywhere. So, all of a sudden, know what I did? The frustration level was was just growing inside me, and I'm heating up. I just didn't say a word. You just stopped talking. I just stopped talking. For 30 or 40 seconds, my brain was just like <laughs> short-circuiting. I didn't what know what to doing? do. And she's just waiting, and I hear her breathing. She wasn't talking either? <laughs> I hear her breathing. Just uncomfortable silence. She's breathing, and I'm nice. not talking. And all of a sudden, she had to go 40 seconds later, because I guess they're not really allowed to hang up on you. No. And she just goes, hello? I'm like, yeah, I'm still here. I was just a defeated man. Oh, I'm still here. Yeah, I'm on. And then I was silent again. She's like, hello? And I'm like... Yeah. Could you, <laughs> could you? Did you fix it? Did you, <laughs> did you? During our silence together, did did you work on that and fix it for me? And I'm like, well, I I don't have a checking account because you just heard that I don't have yeah. checks to my new account. So and I don't feel like getting a stupid money order for a six dollar toll because they mm. are gonna waive the the administrative fee as long Ooh. as it's fifteen business days. But I have to write that in the letter. Of course you do. So I I just so I just hang up on her. Hang up. And I just ripped the part uh, down where you have to submit with your payment. And I just take a $5 bill, a $1 bill, circled, said, uh, You sent cash. Fuck yeah. I said, charged me twice and mailed it in. Dude, and you're going to get with it. You're going to get, mm hmm. Uh, your, your form is going in the garbage. That six bucks is going in someone's pocket. Yeah. And you are fucked. Well, we'll see what happens. You but. might as well send it to KFC because that's where it's going. <laughs> Some fatso is having lunch on your dime. That's probably why you have to do the money orders and the what and the checks so they have a what record. Are you, five right? taping quarters to a box top, <laughs> dude. If I could have got away with it, I would have um, given them six dollars worth of pennies. Six bucks in cash you sent. Yeah. To, and you know that it's just you know who works there. You know who opens those letters. Somebody who could really use the six bucks. So basically, though, some stupid thing that obviously I should have picked up on at the time, yeah. but I didn't, and a lot of people didn't, is now this this thing. That should have been taken care of, this though, thing. on the phone. Right. You obviously could not have gone through the same toll within six seconds. They see it in front exact of her. Exact toll. At least that one should have been wiped out right there with her at the Yeah, screen. they got a code and everything. It's the same right. code for the same... It's, it's yeah. obviously their error. So this stupid little thing that should have been nothing is now... Now it's a problem. That's what customer service is now. Stupid little thing. Should be nothing. Big problem. You know what the beauty of being on the radio is? And this is because I hate these people so fuck. When Dell, like, you want to bite somebody's face, mm -hmm. is that we're on in 50 states. You figure there's a lot of people that buy computers. If you yep. can just get five people in every state, five, yep. to not buy a Dell, I, I averaged it out. That's 250 people in the country, say, for a year. Yeah. How much is a computer? Eight hundred bucks? Yeah. I'm more than that probably, some mm -hmm. of them, but if it's eight hundred bucks a computer, that's two hundred thousand dollars. There you go. It costs you, you shitheads. That's what you get. Yeah, because the, your stupid customer service uh hey, cost cutting measures. Five people in every All state. Right, let's decide calm to down, because I like Dell. Dell has to get up to forty six for me to make some money back. Good luck. Oh, you got Dell I stuff? like Dell. Bye 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 bye. Screw them, man. They and and I I've been buying Dells for years, man. Years, every year at least, I buy another Dell computer, and yeah, they they just they're screwing me. And here. by the way, because I only like spoke in code when the phone rang earlier. Yeah. I'm just trying to close a joint account out, a joint checking uh -oh. account. Forty forty large in there. Nah, I lucked out actually. A little overdrawing was yeah. going on, but besides uh -oh. that, um. That should have been how long? How long do you think it, it should take to, to close out an old? To close account? a bank account? How about? Could you close this account? How long was that? Three seconds, dude. I'm up to three days already. Three days. I'm up to three days. Something like I said, these simple tasks that we all have to deal with are, are just becoming nightmares mm -hmm. on a daily basis for everybody. It's like, yeah, it should have been one call, three days, had to wait for checks to clear, had to wait for activity at ATM machines, you have to wait 24 hours for that, and then finally yesterday when it was supposed to be all done, they go, oh, uh, we closed the wrong account. Oh, good. My new checking account that has my cash in it. Uh-oh, is that the one? Now, what about the checks that are that went out on that account? Did you have any checks? 
Uh, Outstanding? I don't know. They'll probably bounce. Yeah, well, so they closed that account. I'm like, all right, well, no big deal, right? Uh, well, yeah, it is. Now you, you got to wait 24 hours before you could have that checking account back. Oh, great. Thank you for the inconvenience. <laughs> right. Thank you. Something that should have taken two minutes is up to three days. You three days. Just wanna. Three days. Oh. And then I, I, you know, I actually owe uh, Club Soda Kenny money and stuff, and I got to write him a check. You know, I haven't had checks. I, I ordered checks probably two months ago. I still don't have them. I finally called them, and they're like, "Oh, we forgot to check that box when you were in here." I just ordered checks, by the way, and my order was canceled. You know why? The address I gave was not the same address that my bank account has. I checked my bank account. It, it's the same address. I get a letter yesterday from my bank saying, well, we've changed your address. Here it is. And now it's got my new address. I've been at my new address for a year. And I've given my my uh, uh, address to them. They've had it on file. I've written checks. I've I've used my card. I've I've put the address on. But for some reason, there is such shit going on out there. I don't know what happened. I think corporate America just got just lost their mind. They're trying so hard to save money. Dude, it happens around here. I mean, we're doing a dumb radio show. There was so much paperwork involved. That, you know, mm -hmm. we've talked about that as far as the show goes. But in general. You know, in general, it's like, well, to do this, you know, have him fill out this form, this form, and this, and this, and then check this, this, and this. And if these aren't all checked, then he should fill out this form. They uh -huh. just have made and invented way too many forms where there's the, the, uh, anywhere along the way something can happen something that fucks up the whole screw thing. Up, and it does. Right. It's not, it, they, they, they made it too complicated, too many hands in there, and they're trying to make it cheaper. It doesn't work. That outsourcing is destroying customer service. Just wrecking it. You know it's pretty good, and I know they outsource. I think they outsource anyway. Does Mac outsource? Does anybody know? I don't Apple? Know. I really don't know. No? Incompatible shit that they have. You know what? Yeah. Well, people have asked, why don't you have a Mac? I have a Mac. I use Mac for graphics and video and stuff like that. But their website's great. You go to their website. You want an answer to something? You can find it easily. You need a product. You could order it on online through a Mac, and it's great. Unfortunately, I like to play games other than, like, the five that are available for fucking Mac. So I have to have my Windows. If they were more compatible, I'd probably get one, because um, they are good for graphics you and stuff You like know that. something? You can't just have a Mac. You need a Mac and a Windows. It's just the world we live in if you're if you're into graphics and stuff. All right. Let's uh, go to the phone here. Terry and Philly. Go ahead, Terry. Hey, hey boys. Hey, Jimmy. Oh, Hi. Terry the guy. All right, guys. Hey, I had uh, called XM last Saturday. I was riding in my car. I got a bunch of XM accounts. One of them's in my car. A lot of them are in my cars, and one's in my computer at home. So I'm enjoying Live 8. You know, it's pretty cool. You go from channel to channel. You listen to stadium to stadium. Yeah, they really did a great home. job with the coverage, by the way. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah, excellent on the, on, the, on the regular set, you know, car radio. Mm. So I go home. I'm go excited. The wife's away. The kids are away. I'm going to join myself on my laptop, listen to XM. Here, they don't have it on the computer for some reason. Mm. So I call up customer service. I like get some Hindu or some dance. She doesn't know what the hell is going on. She says, oh, I don't know what's going on. I said, well, why don't you know? I said, and then I said to them, I said, well, why don't you have all the channels on XM on your on your computer? She didn't know any answer to that. So that Eric Logan's listening. Does he think if I spend like 50 bucks a month or 60 bucks a month on all these computers for an extra six bucks, wouldn't I want to have all the channels on my laptop? Like, isn't that the stupid? Like, you talk about these radio guys. Isn't he pretty stupid? Nah, Elo's actually pretty smart. <laughs> well, isn't that pretty dumb, though, that you don't have that on your laptop? Most yeah. guys use their laptop for their music systems. It's, right? fun, it's funny, stupid me. I did call uh, XM Customer Service to get one of my XM units, uh, you know, activated. Uh -huh. Oh, my God. I'm trying to t I'm like, dude, I'm Opie from the Opie and Anthony yeah, show. Yeah. We're pretty much on every box right now. You go to Best Buy right now, you see my name. Yeah. It's right. <laughs> it's one of the highlights of the whole system. I'm that guy. And I still couldn't get anything done. I could not get my unit activated. I'm like, so I'm OP. In, guess him why that is. He calls in. And the funny thing is, the person, you know, she didn't even know uh, the name of the show. And, you know, and I'm not expecting that, but when we're on every box, you, you would think, hello, if you're working for the company, you might, you might know the product. 
Or but, my yeah, one and only product. This lady didn't know shit. So, so I had to, I had to, get, I had to give up. The whiteys up. get the bombs. The whiteys get the bombs. All right, thank you. Uh, we have Beyond Frustrated. It says, recently I had a cell phone company return my check because my account was on hold. My account was on hold because I didn't pay my bill. They can't accept a payment until the hold is removed. To remove the hold, you must make a full payment. <laughs> that is, that's, that's, that's it. That's perfect. It's a perfect example. I'm talking about the simple tasks that have yeah. become just a complete nightmare. Pain in the ass. And I guess Apple doesn't uh, outsource customer service. Good. Very good. Hope they keep it that way. Because I know Microsoft does. They're another one that you'll get friggin' India. why they pick India? Who, is just, it just the cheap, know. filthy labor? Is that what it is? I'm Dorothy. No, you're not. Stop it. Hello, my name is Pete. No, it's not. It is not Pete. It's Sanji. Here's a rule of thumb. When I'm getting computer help, I don't want the person helping me to have come to work on a yak. <laughs> if you rode livestock to work, I don't want you helping me with my fucking computer. With some futuristic device like a computer. Oh, that's hilarious. If, if I eat a burger and you're probably going to worship it, you're not qualified <laughs> to help me. Uh, let's see. Let's go to uh, John. Go ahead, John. Hey, guys. What's up? Hey, John. Hi, John. Hi, Jimmy. Hi. Hey, just so you know, people are getting fucking speeding tickets sent to them for Easy Pass for going between the tolls too fast. And I got a friend of mine who got a fucking ticket for going five miles over yeah. between two fucking tolls. I heard about that, but I don't believe it. No, it happened. They do do it. They I do don't. It. No, I don't. I don't believe it. I've heard about it and heard that, that it's possible and stuff, but they're not doing that yet. Well, I've got I, warnings. I got. He showed me a picture. I've got warnings going, going through toll. the toll booth too quickly, but not from point A to point B too fast. I've oh. been yelled at by the fucking guys. Where you whiz right through, like the, especially in New York, they have the gates still at the toll booths. I don't know why they have those friggin' things. Pull them out, Jersey, no gates. You just go. But they have the gates, and I like the thing to actually skim my windshield wiper when I go through. I like the gate to come up and actually touch my windshield wiper as I zip right through. And I have just been yelled at by uh, the cops. I'm fully expecting that to happen though, where they just start mailing speeding tickets in the mail. Yeah. Cause what it's a, possible because what you, a money maker that will be. If they know how many miles it is between point A and point B, and you, you have a record of when you cross those two points, they could absolutely I get your speed. I fully expect that to happen. It would just wreck the Easy Pass system though, because people would yeah. stop using it. And they haven't started doing that yet. That's a, a huge story. And believe me, you, you, they'd be handing out tickets. Everyone would get one. I'd be. I'd have fifty tickets. Jimmy in Staten Island. Yo. Oh, hey. hey. Jimmy, how mm -hmm. you doing, guys? Yeah, yeah. Two things. First of all, never underestimate the power of the psycho factor. And number two, I'm the guy that told Fat Nick his Escalade. Oh, yeah? Yes, I am. Good and boy. Oh, yeah? Well, yeah, yeah. it came with the uh, Cougine uh, package, with the uh, the heated seats, memory package, and the Louisville Slugger. Punch it up. Oh, boy. Rob, bitch, rob, bitch, bitch, rob, bitch, 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 bit